Look at this. This is gold. Oaks. You won't get away with this, Oaks! Ah! <laughs> Waste time, boys. You want to give me a hand? Let's get this down. Sure is heavy. <laughs> Yeah. 
this will make life a lot easier for all of us. The answer to anyone's troubles is gold, and we got plenty of it. The secret is knowing the right moment. This time, we really hit the jackpot, huh? Oaks, mind if I butt in on the conversation you're having with yourself? Let me in on it. I want to cross the border. We've got to be in Mexico before dark. I was talking to myself because I got a lot of gold to talk about. We sure do. We each got a good share of coming. We worked hard for it. What's more is pleasing work. Lots of gold, lots of pleasure, but uh, now it's time to divide it up. Well, don't we? <laughs> I don't feel like dividing. <laughs> you hear that? Says he don't feel like dividing. <laughs> I don't think I can believe my ears. I'll say it again. I don't feel like dividing. I've come too far. Done too much to let anyone else get their hands on this gold. I've had to put up with the stink of your skins. I don't divide my gold with no motherless Mexicans. Hands up, you two. <laughs> Tough luck, half-breed. <laughs> Guns don't shoot with no bullets inside. <laughs> <laughs> grave ain't seen one bigger you're gonna be real comfortable ain't that right boss <laughs> we worked for you and now you are going to kill us without giving us one drop of tequila you'll be able to say your prayers in Spanish as you lie down to die <laughs> How about your half-breed prayers, eh? In English or Spanish? I'm gonna have to pray for salvation once I've been killed. You do. You're a murderer. I'm pleased to call you my friend, since you're gonna give me your gold.
must say you've done a brilliant job. With gold made bullets. It is your gold, the gold you died for. Gold bullets, better than lead, go deeper. For you who have seen the flame of death, gold can be useful to fire at your killers. We stay with you, be your companions, but you tell us of happy hunting grounds you've seen, on the other side of River of Life. You who have seen the land of the dead must give us the wisdom you have learned from the mouths of the great gods. If you remember and tell us these things, we will serve you and follow you. You're not aiming to stay here. I don't like the looks of it. And where do you suggest we go, Collins? It's hot out here. And I need a drink. I'm hungry, fellas. And when I'm hungry, like I'm hungry, I ain't afraid of a thing. You can bet your life I'm not. He's right. One town's the same as the next. There's nothing to be afraid of, Collins. Who's afraid? Nobody here's a coward. I just said I... I don't fancy the looks of it. Why don't you shut up? We ain't got no choice. I'm hungry, too. You stay here with the horses, and I mean stay with them. You go to the store. You two come with me. 
Make them horses drink slow, Charlie, if you don't want them to bust. Good morning to all you gentlemen. Great little town you got here. First time in these parts. <laughs> you can see right away it's real friendly here. Any one of you interested in selling a few horses? We're headed north. There's work waiting for us up there, but we can't walk all the way. Most of our horses met with accidents. <laughs> Kept getting dizzy from the heat. So I said, call a halt. <laughs> so here we are. Stop throwing darts, Evan. Ain't no lack of horse meat here, just that they cost money. <laughs> no problem there, mister. We earned ourselves a lot of money, and we're prepared to pay. Whiskey all around. You heard him. The best. From the look of you, you had yourself a long walk. It's worth a long walk to find yourself work to do. If it pays well. It's real nice to meet some people who work like you, mister. It's enough to take one good look at you. You can see from your expression that you're hardworking and honest. You're all covered in white dust. I guess you must have crossed the desert. You took the toughest way to get to my old hometown, huh? <laughs> Best way for you, eh? Now you can sell your horses. <laughs> you talk like a businessman. <laughs> well, how about it? We ain't got time to lose. I told you, horses cost money here. This is better than money. That's all I'll pay you with. Well, how many horses do you have to have? Nine. You got more of this to pay for the rest? Sure. <laughs> I'll do my best to get them for you. Hey, Richie. Why don't you play some music for our guests, huh? Laurie! Laurie! What are you waiting for? Come on down. We got gentlemen here to be entertained. Let them hear one of your songs. My town is so nice. My town, my town, there ain't no other. Oh, my man. How's a pretty girl, real pretty. A pretty voice, too. Uh -huh. I want to tell you, stranger, cause you knew on the sea.
you want anything else? No, no, that'll do. Now, let's just see what we got. Uh, it seems you want a lot of vittles. Yeah, we got a mighty long ride ahead of us. We're making for the north to begin work there. Dried salt beef, sugar, beans, two cases of... And we're gonna need at least ten boxes of carbine cartridges. Ten boxes? If you went hunting, you wouldn't find that much to shoot in these parts. Please excuse me. Won't be long. Hello, Ackerman. A good day. You should see the gold they got. They're a bandit gang. seem natural. That's stupid. It's just the desert. We become used to the sun. Stronger than I look. Can't you make this horse get a move on? He moved more slowly now because he's old. How do you ever expect to get there? The men we follow have no meat or water and few horses to carry them. They will stop in small town over hill. How much further is it? Not far. It lies in next valley at edge of desert. But what's the name of it? I not know what white man call it. The people of the Indian tribes call it the unhappy place. Hurry, this way. Follow me. Come on, hurry. Let them get away. Come on, come on. Let's get this going. What are you waiting for? Get that rope 
Stop around there. Come on. Come on, get a move on. Mother of God, forgive you all. May they hang you for this. There's no salvation for men like you. Pray for forgiveness to Almighty God. That was it. Get out of the Hey, there's one still alive. Well, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Get around there. Get around there. Get around there. Get around there. You'll never get out of that house alive, Oaks, long as I'm here. My eyes must be playing tricks. It isn't him. It can't be. Who 
is it? Who is it? Who are you? How have you got here? I have to know! You've come back from hell! Go on fire! You're all supposed to be dead! You come on out from behind there! Put him down. You heard me. This man interests me. I want him alive. He has some information I want. There's plenty of time for hanging. Why wait, Mr. Sorrow? You know darn well we're gonna hang the man anyway. Pancho! Yes, sir. What is it, Mr. Sorrow? Get those bullets out of him and make sure you bring him to me alive. Come on, man. Help me get him out of here. I didn't know pity was part of your nature. You know better than that, Alderman. There are a few things I want to find out concerning those men. They're a bunch of killers, murdering outlaws. And we done what we felt had to be done. But you don't know what it is I heard. They couldn't hide much from me, Mr. We Sarah. just brought them to justice. Ah. By God, you can have all the justice you like. I got an eye skin for something much more important. Come on, Willie. I got a little talking, then a little listening. Do. do as you choose, Mr. Sorrow. We can help. That's wise of you. Now let's see what miracles Poncho can perform.
We want to know something. Are you going to stay here or move on? I guess I'll stay. Here, you won't feel a thing. Avanti, opera. E smettila di gridare che non è niente. Continua pure, Pancio, smetto. Lo rimetteremo in sesto, vero? E lui sarà contento di raccontarci la storia della sua vita. Una storia abominevole di crimini e di delitti. Non voglio ascoltarla, mi allontanerò. Ma io adoro le memorie autobiografiche, lo starò a sentire avidamente. Voglio sperare che la nostra parola di cittadini per bene valga molto di più delle menzogne di un criminale. <ride> no, Tebler. Per me la solita bibita di sciroppo di Lamponi. Bravo, Pancio, l'hai acchiappato. Ci sa fare come un vero dottore. Ma questo è oro. Oro, oro. Pancho, you idiot, you didn't have to kill him, did you? I'm sorry, sir, but all my life I've searched for gold, and this man is full of it. Ah. Ah. This bullet, solid gold. Yeah, they shot him full of gold, Mr. Sorrow. I don't like these kind of games you're playing. It's no game. Gold is a sure way to kill a man. It's a game, all right. And I'd say a very expensive one for a gunman. Thirty dollars a shot. Sure, it was an investment. You're uh, gonna give me that five hundred dollars, aren't you, mister? Since when did he get so generous? <laughs> You're gonna pay five hundred dollars? Not for me, Mr. Sarr, but for the public good. Justice is worth paying any price for. I wouldn't count a lot on seeing that money, stranger, if I were you. It's only gold, isn't it? All right, stranger, here's your five hundred dollars. That's what you came in here to collect. Well, right now what I need is a bed. Pay me tomorrow. There's no hurry. You got a room for me, boy? Yes, sir, right away. Listen to me, Templer. Nobody in this place gives anything away for nothing. You can be sure of that. You were in a little bit too much of a hurry to hang those guys. And the young stranger helped you out. Now this one's dead and no one can talk. Those outlaws were much too dangerous. No point in waiting to be killed. I don't care about them gringos. Only what they had. A load of gold, that's what I'm talking about and what I want. Saddlebags full of gold. Not those gold bullets either. Go get it and bring it to me. I don't know what they've been telling you. But if there was any, someone has escaped with it. I'll keep my cowboys wide awake. And since this is my own land, nobody goes through it without my hearing about it. Alderman, here's a witness, aren't you? It's not me that's the witness. But the Lord in heaven who showed us the way. <laughs> we'll find it wherever it is. Don't you worry about that. Come on, boys. Let's go. Ha! Ha!
here it is. Just like I said. He signed his name with a cross. Bill, I don't understand why you didn't give him the money. He didn't want it. Just wanted to sleep here. Listen. Not sleeping very good. Well, he's not going to get the chance to sleep late. Tomorrow he can take his dollars and get out. I knew it. I suppose you're going to give all the money we saved to him. How about all those things we planned together? Don't you worry yourself about that. You mean you'll marry me? I don't like being just your woman. Sure, Flory. I'll marry you. You mean it, Bill, don't you? Sure. You know I do. As soon as we can. Listen. That man stopped walking. Be fair, I ought to have at least twice your cut. You must be crazy, Templar. Well, I was the one who found it. Uh -huh. How would you have hidden it if I hadn't helped you? I could have gotten someone else to do that. Is that so? And who's lent you money all these years that you never paid back? Listen, Alderman. I made investments that could be useful to the whole community. It's your money, but what did you do with it? I spent it improving this town, making it prosper. I paid you my interest and plenty of that. No man can say I was anything but honest. I've defended the morals of the folk here always. I've never been afraid to teach the way of justice and the fear of God. I taught half of them to pray. Now we must divide this gold, split it equally. Or do you want to cause trouble that will attract the attention of sorrow? Is that your kind of justice? That's just what I expected, you swindler. You can't fool me, you low-down chiseler. Keep your voice down. Templar. It's not enough. It's all you'll get. This gold is going to be divided. Equally. We'll see about that. Are you threatening me? You're not going nowhere with that. I'm taking my share. We've decided what that is. Stay where you are. Get out of my way. It's mine. I warned you to leave it where it is. You can't stop me taking my share. Nothing. That's your share. My share is hot. Hot. Do you hear? Who's there? Mind if I talk to you, sir? What do you want? I... I want to ask you a favor. You woke me up. Is it very late? Yeah, it is, sir. Well, what do you want? Come on, speak up. I wanted to ask you to take me with you, sir. With me? <laughs> or two? Doesn't matter where. That reminds me. I've got to go somewhere, too.
You're a brave man. Brave as anyone here. Take me with you, sir. Being brave's not important. What makes you want to get out of here? It's awful being in this wicked town. I won't spend another night here. There must be some place better in this world. I've seen better places, boy. Then it's all right? You'll take me with you? I'm not leaving. I'm staying right here. You better make other plans. I'm sorry. What's your name, boy? Evan! 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 What's going on? Your son just ruined all the beautiful things you got me in Denver. Your son, he's a monster. He'll end up hanging from a tree like those dead bandits out in front. Calm down. I'll buy you lots of new clothes. No, even if you did, you know the same thing would happen. I wish you wouldn't blame Evan. You know it isn't his fault. It's not his fault. He hates me and I can't make you see it. Calm yourself. I'll punish him for it. Evan! 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 Come here! Come here! Help me cut him down. We'll help you do your duty. The spirits of these outlaws have to go free. They have waited all through the night. The desert cools after sundown, and the nights are cold. How will you tell us? Tell you what? How is death? We heard that there are a great many wild beasts to hunt. They tell us the pastures are full of buffalo and the land is green and fertile. Hey, you! Who told you to cut those men down? Did you hear that? We want those outlaw killers to hang there as a reminder to strangers not to try and disobey our orders. You'll be warned by that. Did you hear that? Better be careful, and nothing will happen to you. Take his advice, stranger. Here's your $500. Take it. Now get out of town. We don't like folks we don't know here. Make things easy, stranger. Go while the going's good. Um, you see, we got problems, my friend. Uh, even up in heaven. So you are in need of a horse.
exactly what they were having. They were just inviting him to a party. He's guest of honor. He doesn't look anxious to go to your party. <laughs> That's the reason we asked him to come to it. Why don't you come too? I admire you for your gunplay. Though it's a pity you waste all that gold every time you shoot somebody. <laughs> it's only on special occasions they use them. How about listening to a proposition I'll make you? On my ranch, there's room for a man like you. Do you want to work for me? Maybe I do. Depends what you want done. Time up tight. There ain't no need to be afraid of hurting him, Max. Pedro. Yeah, boss? Take one of my fastest horses. Pay a visit to his father. Tell that idiot we want all the gold they found on those outlaws that they hanged. I am bargaining for the life of his son. And you can tell him, Pedro, I want it all soon. I am anxious to make this deal. Sure thing, boss, right away. Sounds pretty good. Boys, there will be gold for all of you. <laughs> what do you think, my friend? I am a great believer in the affections of a father. But while we're all waiting, it'll be amusing to entertain our handsome young guest. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Juanito! Johnny, we are waiting to begin the party. Yes, senor. I'll bring your oh, yeah. Put it over here. Oh, yeah. Why not sit down? Go on, sit there. Make yourself at home next to me, won't you? You see what a good time my boys have here? Why don't you join them in their entertainment? Oh, come on, come on. Get out of the way. Let me out of the way. Oh, hey, man, he's going to get a half away. Hey. Go walk away. Yeah. Bring it up to this table, will you? Come on, drink up, eat something, and before you know it, you'll feel you're one of us. The pleasure of food and drink satisfy men's baser senses and open the way to more refined sensation, like crime, for instance. It doesn't seem right to me. You holding that kid here as a hostage? I'd never have suspected you were a moralist. You must have broken the law sometime. You handle a gun too good, stranger. I had good reason to practice. It's most unlikely you got that kind of practice being an honest, law-abiding man. You'll have fun being a member of my gang. It should be quite obvious. Mira, amigo. My muchachos are hard working. Yet look what I give them. The best of everything, amigo. <laughs> you can see for yourself. I taught them well to enjoy good things. If I have to pay the ransom for my son's life, I think you should pay it, too. What have I got to do with it? He's your son. You'll pay with your share of the gold. We're partners in this, sharing the same secret. You pay the ransom, not me. My share's not enough. They'll kill him. Don't you see? They're determined to get all of it. Not my share of the gold. That stays here. The kid's not my responsibility. I thought you were my partner. I am your partner, Templar. But the boy is yours. My God, you're a rat. You leave me be or I'll shoot you. I'll make you pay. Where are you? Can't 
you make your minds up quick about the gold? Uh... Take it easy there. What's your big hurry? Help yourself to as much as you want. You can tell them they got five minutes to make their lousy minds up. Did he agree? No. Wouldn't he give it to you? I couldn't make him see reason. It was our chance to get our hands on all of it, Bill. You mean you'd let them kill the kid? Bill, can't you see it's only a trick, that's all? They're just trying to scare you into giving in to them. I'm not going to risk that. The trouble with you is you're weak as water. You're being fooled into telling them you managed to find the gold. Deny it, deny it. Make them think you don't have it, Bill. There's Pedro. It's no good. He says he doesn't have the gold. He asked you to let the boy go. I have a job for you, stranger. You can carry this kid's corpse back to his father. Lex, you know what to do. Uh, wait a minute. I have an idea how he can be useful to us. I'll get your gold. You want to save the boy, don't you? For the gold. All right. But you got to win him. You must first shoot that rope there. The one that ties him to the wall. I know you are an excellent shot, so it should be easy for you. But not so easy after you have drunk what's left of this whiskey, hmm? What about it? Shall we? Just what kind of man you are. smart. You surprise me, amigo. Very smart indeed. But you certainly should know better. The boy's still tied. I'll give him to you anyway. Cut that cord. Cheer up, boy. If you want to please your father, you should start playing at being dead. Now your life is worth less than the golden sand of the desert. Well, what is this? A funeral? Get on with a party.
committed suicide, because there's no one standing guard. Well, he must have taken my gun. Damn fool to do a thing like that. I know how you must feel, stranger, after you did your best to save his life. He didn't want to be a man. What do you mean? A man who can take on responsibilities. A man who does what he must and accepts it. I'd say he died a lot like a man. My offer is still open to you if you'll accept it. Take him into town and get that father of his to give me all the gold he's got hidden. If he won't, he'll have visitors. I'll go, but I don't think it'll do any good anyway. I think it will. It depends on you. Pablo, saddle up a horse. You see anyone? Not yet. Why don't they come? Prepare yourself, Templar. It doesn't look good. Flory. Here they are. Oh, my God. away from that table. Never. Never. 
Pasha. Oh, God. My poor boy, what did they do to you? You mad? What's up with him? He must have gone out of his head not to respect the feelings of a father for his son. We gotta kick him out of here once and for all. <laughs> You've got to give up that gold, Templar. Now they'll come and get it. You're letting him just walk out of here? No, not now. There are too many witnesses. know that you still have many golden bullets to shoot from your gun. Son, you must have much hate. When you have finished all your bullets, you will leave here. We have an enemy in common, you and I. You know who I mean. Templar's a man to beware of. Be careful. He's already threatened me with violence. Say, come into my house. This is where I live. I didn't know there was a house in this town where they welcome guests. My house is different. If a stranger comes by, tired and hungry, he's always welcome here. Come on in, stranger. How come you're so generous? Because I'm scared. I've been threatened. You can protect us. I must have protection. I'll pay you. I do everything myself. I have no servants. I don't trust them. They steal things. Too many good things here. Eat up. I'm sure you're hungry. Uh, I'll treat you special if you stay here. You won't believe this, but I treat everybody special. You appear to live alone. I feel like I do. I've been unfortunate. I almost wish I did. I've seen a woman at the upstairs window. You've seen her already? Mm. She's my wife. But she might as well not exist. She's unbalanced. You understand the girl is insane. I've had to lock her in her room. Poor creature. She wouldn't harm anyone. She has the mind of a child. 
If anything should happen to me, Soros men might come around and they're dangerous. And imagine if Templar were to come here. He's a man with no religious principles whatsoever. A man without scruples or morals. That's why the Lord struck down his son. He lives with that woman openly and they're not married. It's a scandal everyone talks about. Please say you'll protect us. She's always like this. There's nothing I can do. Better find that stranger and have him killed. And find him before dawn. And see about those two Indian men. We'll have to find a reason to beat them up. Do whatever you want. But I must be sure he's dead as a doornail by tomorrow. All right, boss. Leave it to me. I'll do it. It's a good bed, this. But you're not to fall asleep. What's that? Like this. Don't turn it out. I want you to rest, but stay awake. I'm exhausted. You can't stop me from going to sleep. I'm getting up early tomorrow morning and hitting the road. Good night. I said good night. I knew I'd find you in here. I heard voices and someone moving about. Don't you recognize me? Sure. I saw you at the window. You didn't understand the sign I made to you. What were you trying to tell me? To get out. You're in danger. You don't know what the people are like here. You're different from the others. You mustn't stay here in this place. I must try to save you. What makes you think I'm in danger? They'll try to murder you, I'm sure. Life in this place is worth nothing. Look at me. Uh, what's your name? Elizabeth. He says you're crazy. He's evil. He wants me to think I'm mad. And he's nearly succeeded. Why does he want to do that? Because I fell in love with someone fine. And I've been locked away here ever since. Then you're not really mad. I... I don't know. <laughs> What's the matter? It's just... 
But I must have someone to love me. He left your door unlocked. Why did he do that? Seems odd. Because he wants me to make sure you stay awake to defend his house. Where's he gone? Get out of here while there's time. You haven't kissed me yet. Sarah's men. Arm yourselves, all of you, and wait at the windows. But don't shoot. Open up, Templar. Templar, if you don't open this door, we'll break it down. We gotta do something. Hide the gold. I know where to hide it. Where? Respect for the dead. The saloon is closed. We're in mourning here. <laughs> Listen to that. Anybody think it was true? You know what to do. Search every corner of the house. Tell us where you've hidden it. Or do we kill you? You're searching this place from top to bottom, and, and you can see the gold just ain't here. It, it's been taken away. 
It's been taken away by the, the dirty rat alderman. You'll find it in his house. If you're lying, Templar, watch out. Quick, they're here. Save me. Look, there they are. Get away from the window. Do something. That's why you're here. To protect me. What am I supposed to protect? Your house? Your reputation? Your poor wife? Isn't there anything of greater value? That's the house, all right. Alderman, we're coming for the gold. Your friend Templar gave you away. We know you've got it, so let's have it before we burn your house down. Here it is. Take it. Give it to them, my love, before they you harm you. Get that here. You're mad. You're mad. Leave her alone. Come on, Alderman. We know you've got it in there. Open up. It's all over. It's all right. She's betrayed me, a serpent in my house. No better than that damned half-breed. I'll throw them both out. Together. Then they'll find out who I am. Can't I help you? You should try to forget it. Don't be so sad. You know I love you. I'm sure I can help. Nobody can help me. I've got to finish what I started. I know. 
I've always known that it'd be your answer. You leave me. Where's my gun? I have given you the power to walk upon serpents and scorpions and to withstand the might of your adversaries, whoever they may be. Whosoever among you shall say, I am great, he shall be small. And whosoever among you shall say, I am the first, he shall be the last. For the Son of God came among you not to be served, but to serve you. And he gave his life that you may live. All right, lower the coffin. What a day. <sighs> Give me a drink, huh? It's so hot. You know what it costs to double cross me. That'll fix you and him at the same time. He must have taken it while we were sleeping. I want to know why. I've got to go find him. What are you going to do if the others come back to get the gold? If you like. I'll stay. No, they'll kill you. They come back for me. If you don't, I shall die. Sure filled him full of holes. Did a good job. Strange he left his gun behind. The chamber's empty. I know this gun. I'm sure I do. Hey, wait a minute. This bullet's solid gold. It's the strangers. He murdered Templar. Go get him. Well, what are you waiting here for? Sorry. 
Where the devil is Flora? Haven't seen her. She's always been a bad woman. I'm sure she's got something to do with this. Better get going and don't forget your gun. Yeah, let's go. Come on. I want you to help me. They're going to try to kill me. Uh, Alderman has killed Bill. It was awful. But I managed to get away. I, I saw him do it. I saw him kill Bill Temper. Where'd he do it? In the saloon. we just come back from the funeral. Now, now he wants to kill me. I'm in danger because I saw him do it. I don't stand a chance in hell against Alderman. He's a highly respected citizen. He'll have me killed and make it seem legal. Would you like to get rich? What do you mean by that? Just exactly what do you want me to do? I know where he hid the gold. All, all of Templars. If you'll help me to get it, we can split it. Where is it? At the cemetery, in Evan's coffin. I haven't the courage to get it myself. But there's enough gold in there to do things that... Listen here, if anyone tries to open that boy's coffin, I'll see they get shot. Haven't you done enough? That gold belongs to Evan. But we have to have it to leave this place. And we gotta get out before they kill us. Your life's in danger as well as mine. <laughs> What do you think of this, baby? Not bad. Looks like Ackerman's getting anxious. All right, if you're ready, let's go. Come on. Now we'll see some action. You heard him. Get going. If you want to sleep safe in your beds, find those two. And make sure they do no more harm in our town. Hey, there's a friend of his here. Who, the stranger? Oh, those Indians, they always hang around with him. Hey, anyone knows where he is, they ought to. Let's make him talk. Come on, huh? Let me get my hands on him. Oh, come on. Non sparare. Sarebbe un peccato. Da tanto tempo desidero uno scatto. <laughs> They're coming to get you. You must hide. How many are there? The whole town. Right. 
Hold it, stranger. You can't get away this time. Where is he? What have you done? Your precious lover boy is dead. Sorrow's men took him away and tortured him to death. I thought you'd be pleased to hear that. I'll deal with you later. Get in. You'll never get out of there alive. Hold it. We don't want him unconscious. I'm going to tell you something. You've been very stupid not to take advantage of my offer to make you one of my muchachos. We could have been amigos. But you preferred to go your own way, didn't you? You're going to tell me where that gold's hidden. You'll tell me if I have to cut your tongue out. You made a mistake. How could you? How could you make a mistake as elementary as all that? Now you're going to have to pay. Mr. Soro doesn't like to be cheated. Carlos, go prepare our persuasive little pets. <laughs> we have to get going, but you won't find it lonely. I'm going to make sure you have nice company. What do you like? The company of snakes or blood-sucking vampire bats? Rats can also be good company. You won't feel lonely. Now I'll wish you good night. Come on. It's useless, sir. You can't scare me. You'll never get me to tell you. You don't know me. We'll see. We'll see. I've made stronger men than you tell me everything. You'll change your ideas soon. Come on, Carlos. Sleep easy. <laughs> Miguel, you can get going. We know now where the gold's been hidden. Our prisoner has at last been persuaded to talk.
cemetery. No cemetery. Cemetery. Having a good time with your friends, amigo? Interesting, ain't it? <laughs> it's better than any party. <laughs> the cemetery. The cemetery. <laughs> You, get in here. you don't think this is just for playing music? That's right, Corporal. Go for the throat. Give me a drink! Ah! A drink! A drink! <laughs> You dirty old drunk. It's a pity you don't understand what my muchachos mean to me. They make me so happy in their black uniforms. <laughs> Explosives. Here, take as much as you can carry. Come on, hurry up. Here, take this, they're coming back. Go! 
What a shame. It was a beautiful place. Proud of it, wasn't it? It sure was. But there ain't no point in having a house that burned like this is. I wouldn't give you two bits for it. <laughs> <laughs>
than you.